In this video, we will be studying about the consumer goods and the capital goods. See, what are your consumer goods? Consumer goods are the goods which are used directly for the satisfaction of human wants. These are directly consumed by the consumer. These are the final, these are meant for the final consumption. and are used to satisfy human wants. Right? So consumer goods are the final goods and are used to satisfy human wants. So these are used by who are the final users of these goods. These are consumed by those so these final consumers can be your consumer households your government your NGOs etc right so there are further classification of consumer goods Number one is durable goods. See, durable goods are the goods that are used for several years. That is your car, refrigerator, furniture, right? Semi-durable goods. These are the goods that last for a few years right? which can be used for a period of one year or more than that. Let's say your crockery, your cloth, cloth, crockery, some electric appliance. Alright. Then comes your non-durable goods or perishable goods. Or you call them as perishable goods which cannot be used for more than uh, like 5 days or 10 days like your all the dairy products, your milk, cheese, curd. These are the perishable or non-durable goods. And the last one is your services. Services cannot be seen. These are non-material goods which directly satisfy human want, uh, wants because these can be felt easily. So this is your consumer goods. Now what are capital goods? See, what do you mean by capital? Some kind of investment that you do? So these are the fixed asset goods that are purchased by the producer like your plant and machinery that can be used in the process of production repeatedly because once you buy the machinery you can repeatedly use the particular machinery to carry out your production process for several years right? but let's say if nuts and bolts these are not capital goods although these are purchased by the producer for the production uh, process but these are not the capital goods because if once you have fixed the nut in a particular production process let's uh, say you are a manufacturer of uh, let's say scooty so if you have fixed particular nut or bolts in the scooty you cannot again and again repeatedly use the same nuts and bolts you need different so these are not your capital goods 
Your capital goods are the fixed assets that can be repeatedly used in the process of production, like your plant and machinery, your land, right? So now all machines are not capital goods. Let's take an example of swing machine. Right? If the swing machine is purchased by household, that is you and me, for us it is a final good. But if it is purchased by a tailor, for them, it is in capital good because the machine can be repeatedly used to stitch the clothes. So in this way, all machines are not your capital goods. There is some difference between them. The second most important thing to understand is all capital goods are producer goods but all producer goods are not capital goods see what are producer goods these are the goods that helps in the production process process in order to manufacture the final good right so all these all those goods which help in the production process are here producer goods let's say a person is a manufacturer of furniture it has purchased wood it has purchased some machinery to give shape to the furniture so wood is also a capital uh, producer good sorry because it is used in the production process to make a particular uh, furniture and machinery is also a producer good. Machinery can be used repeatedly to manufacture the furniture. So this is your capital good as well. But if you have purchased wood and you have made furniture out of it, so can you use the same wood in order to make other furniture? No. You require different lot, lot of wood. So you cannot use wood again and again, the same wood again and again to produce the particular product. So in this case, wood is only a producer good or you can say as intermediate good. So in this way, your capital goods are all producer goods, but your producer goods are not all capital goods, right? So this, with this example, we have proved this statement. I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.